Day. My name is Elliot Morgan. And I'm Joe Beretta. You're probably wondering why we're dressed like this. So are we. It's Dino Fred! Okay, okay, let's do it, let's do it. We're starting now. <clears throat> starting the story. Let's go talk about news. I know. Well, welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Ellie Morgan. Emily Newton. <laughs> We're not going to say another word. Story done. Yeah, and I'm actually really good about keeping my mouth shut. Yeah, like this one time I was over at the University of Florida, and uh, I said to my friend Tammy, I said, hey, who is that hot beefcake in the corner? She's like, that? That's Tim Tebow. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I sauntered on over to him, right? And I was like, hey. And he was like, what's up, babe? Our eyes met. Sparks flew. Connection zing. We made sweet, passionate love one and a half times that night. It was like climbing Everest, literally, because my ears popped constantly. He's tall. He's real tall. I'm gonna venture a guess and say that that never, that never happened. And stop. Please oh really? No, never happened, Elliot? Yeah, never. Never happened. happened. You know what? Hey, round two, Tebow. No, it never happened. You are just completely lying right now. Okay, sure I am. You know what? Look, uh, is this money gonna be in one lump sum or is it gonna be in payments? Because I want to buy a Maserati, but I don't want to do it in payments. I want to do one lump sum. But I'm not a popper, okay? Okay, actually, Madison, please uh, disregard that. You get to play as Rhino, which is basically a gray Hulk with a horn on its head. Go big, smash things in a city. It's pretty awesome. Yeah! Thanks for putting Michael Fassbender in this one, buddy. Hey. You're welcome. It's all true to the top. I think you know how much I love him. Sorry, I'm in a place. Did you guys see that Michael Fassbender Prometheus trailer? It's made of poop. It's made of poop. B -b -b Elliot Hand. Joe Hands. Lee Hands. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do that on this one and see if she notices. It's not as guys are gonna flow. I'm just gonna take a break for a second and black out. <laughs> and he was like, I'm a dude. Ugh. And I was like, Ugh. And we went Pound Town, USA. What was that? Was that? Choo choo. Conductor. <laughs> boom, boom. You... Wink, kick a wink, and it. <laughs> okay. What do you do? What is that? It's a, it's a cocktail. <laughs> oh, it's a tiny straw. Faithfully! Oh. I'm delighted! Oh, I'm not hitting it. No, you're not, actually. <laughs> Oh, Steve! To our first musical source fed. Um, Elliot will not be singing. No, that one's good. So I can do that easy. naturally, I think. Never do that in front of someone you want to sleep with because they won't after. Someone learned the hard way. <laughs> or the soft way. <laughs> ah! Okay, what's up? As Veritrol stimulates your genes and makes your cells last longer. So in other words, it could keep your skin and muscles looking young. Skin looking young and fresh, you say? Hold still, Beverly. We just found the fountain of youth. You just get yourself a sweet little cup or twelve of an of a frenzy, a complete with resveratrol. Um, Lee, do you even know what resveratrol is? Yeah, Elliot, I know what resveratrol is. It's a powerful antioxidant that's found in the skins of grapes and also grapes. Cranberries, blueberries, peanuts, jackfruit, mulberries, blueberries, lingonberries. It's a polyphenol phytoalexin. And it's said to help with metabolisms and cardiovascular stuff. And it's an anti inflammatory. And it's an anti cancer properties. And according to this study, it's what gives me my dewy, dewy look. Um, uh, you do look. Nice. Thank nice. you, Elliot. But I don't see why you have to actually drink red wine. If it's already found in all of those other ingredients, why don't you just eat the other ingredients? Like, you can just eat raw grapes. And not to mention the fact that resveratrol comes in a pill form that you can order anywhere. Plain grapes? Heck no, man. I'm killing eight birds with one stone. Did you know that Spain scientists found that people that had two or more glasses of wine a day had 44% fewer colds? And it's said to increase vein brunction. <laughs> That can't be true. Don't argue with speculated science, Elliot. Tests and tests are done on red wine, and it's coming up golden. You know, I'm thinking about investing in this little baby before it takes off. Hey, you're a smart kid. How would I go about doing that, huh? Um, I think you have to be filthy rich and probably have a vineyard. Nope. No can do. Uh, Lee, I think you're going about this all wrong. Sure, it has good properties, but I'm pretty sure they said having alcohol in moderation is what helps you. Alcohol-induced problems include things like cirrhosis and heart failure and damage to your nervous system and a crap ton of other things. Oh, man, so it's not a liquid Lazarus pig? No. I'm not immortal? No. 
How's my complexion? It's good. It's nice. It looks Thank really you. good. Look, Lee, again, it's all about moderation. They said with this Harvard study that there's still far more research that needed to be done before they could conclude any positive effects of resveratrol. Elliot, do you want to help me do some research? Uh, no. Thank you. Okay, so question time. Do you let studies like this dictate your eating habits? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Click the annotation down below or just go to sourcefed.com for every other story we've ever done. I'm Lee Newton. I'm Elliot Morgan. Why so serious? So there you have it. The asteroid that killed the dinosaurs wasn't anything special. No, it was like a little baby tiny asteroid. Like a baby when his Earth is a baby asteroid. Boom! Dinosaurs annihilated! Where'd they go? Just because it was a little tiny baby asteroid doesn't mean it was a big deal. I mean, it killed dinosaurs. It's not a big deal. We're just, we're, we're not actual dinosaurs. We can just take those off. This is special effects. This is like Steven Spielberg type Jurassic Park type crap. Well, friend. There's no impending doom, and we're not actually dinosaurs. I feel like maybe we should just take these things off. Maybe. But I know. That would end my life. Holding a dinosaur? While holding a dinosaur. Watch out! Protect that face! It's all you got! Thanks, Mom! <laughs> We make it sure that you hide. Also, it's very easy if you make a joke in order to make him laugh. The mating call of the intern is his laugh. <laughs> I love your face. He's actually having a heart attack. <laughs> that's, that's him trying to breathe. There's hazards on the course. First one to Tony to high five him wins free coffee. Wait, really? Do I really get coffee? Yeah. Okay. Ready? for coffee. What the hell? Oh, that's not fair. That's not fair. All right, go. Come on, come on, Trish, Trish. Oh my God, Audrey. That ain't working at all. Audrey totally won. I'm not athletic. I have the athletic prowess of like Mick Jagger. It's not very good. Oh. It's really a wonder view. Paradise. Simply look around and move it. There it goes. This is. Oh, Lee, you ruin everything. <laughs> Get him off me. Uh, Steve, how's your juice? Dude, it's insane. You see it over there? Look at how much liquid is in this thing. If I drank this whole thing, I would get diabetes. It's hard to work at SourceFed because you have to take everything so seriously, you know? Ah! Do you get Newton? Okay, pause, because that literally just reverberated in my cooper. <laughs>